Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I will be purchasing a legendary tube screamer pedal. I don't know which one yet, but we will go over it together in this episode. Currently I have a couple of overdrive pedals, such as the Wampler Triumph, the Aegis from Walrus Audio, the Northern Mauler from Rev, the EVH5150 Overdrive from MXR, the Centavo from Warm Audio, and the Sugar Drive from MXR. Each of these pedals contributes with a particular purpose on my pedal board. For example, I use the Centavo pedal every time I use the clean channel of an amp, because it brings up the mids and rounds up the highs, resulting in a warmer sound. I like using the EVH5150 overdrive pedal on solid state amps because it makes them sound more punchy and meaner. So you get the idea. I feel that my pedal board could use a classic tube screamer. This will help me tone shaping and enhance the sonic capabilities of my rig. I do have classic virtual overdrive pedals, however, I would like an analog pedal. A brief note about the legendary tube Screamer is that it has been used in different music genres and by iconic guitar players such as Kirk Hammett from Metallica. This pedal was designed by an electronics engineer from Japan. Susumu Tamura, and it came out in 1979 as the Maxon OD-808, due to a collaboration of Ibanez with Nishin Ompa. Then, in 1980, it came out as the Ibanez Tube Screamer 808. These were the same pedals, but with different marketing characteristics. The original price back in the day was $50, which is about $200 in 2024. In 1982, the Ibanez TS9 pedal came out as a redesign of the 808. It was a bit brighter, it had more output, and it was less smooth than the original 808. This is not a sponsored video, I will pay for this pedal with my own money. Usually, Sweetwater has plenty of pedal options, so I'll start there to look for the Tube Screamer, but I'm open if other sites have a better deal. All right, let's get into it. All right, and we are here at Sweetwater's website, and I just searched for Tube Screamer pedals, and these are the results that Sweetwater gave me, so let me sort it out by most popular, that way we know which is the pedal that has been purchased the most recently, and you can see it is the TS9 Tube Screamer that goes for $99.99, and right after that you have the original TS808 Tube Screamer, which goes for $169.99. Now, something that differentiates this original Tube Screamer from the more modern one is that this one actually has the same chip and analog circuitry as the original. Specifically, they're referring to the chip, which is the JRC4558D IC chip. So, this is the one that uh, makes it so special from back in the day. So if uh, this is something that uh, I feel is going to make a huge difference for me, definitely this is the one that I need to uh, move on with. However, it is significantly more expensive than the $99 one. Let me just check if this one has that circuitry, which I don't think so, but I just... I uh, want to make sure and checking out the specs, it doesn't say that it has it. So that to me confirms that this um, T 
DS9 circuit is slightly different than that original one and would explain why this pedal is a little bit brighter than the original 808. All right. So let's see what else we have over here. We have the mini tube screamer. I need to be brutally honest with all of you. I have the mini sugar drive pedal uh, overdrive from MXR. And the fact that it is a mini, I don't think is giving me all the sonic goodness that I will find on a bigger scale type of pedal. So to be honest, I'm going to stay away of this mini, even though it is the most inexpensive option. And this mini pedal doesn't tell us if it has that original chip or not. So I'm going to go with it doesn't have it. So I'm going to stay away from it in this moment in time. All right, let's keep going down. But before that, look at this. We are in the Memorial Day uh, weekend. So look at this. They have pedals up to 40% off, which is super exciting. And that's another reason I like uh, purchasing at Water because I have gotten really, really good sales. And this is one example of it. Look at this. This is Bonsai Nine Way Screamer uh, style, of course. And this is made by JHS. It goes for over $200 when it's not on sale, but right now it has $50 off. And what I like the most is that I can choose between nine different styles of overdrive, including the TS9 and the 808. And you can see it here on this uh, pedal um, uh, right bottom knob, which you can even do the... Uh, OD1, which if I remember correctly, that is from Boss. And you have here your 808 and the TS9. So they're both right there. Plus some others, including the TS10, which is also an Ibanez, if I remember correctly. John Mayer is the one who plays with that particular overdrive. And then there's some other overdrives, even the TS7. And I believe this last one, the JHS, is the one that Josh from JHS actually uh, emulates his own uh, uh, tube screamer that he actually modified. So I'm super interested on seeing how this performs here with my amp in the studio. And of course, you have your three standard knobs, the tone, volume, and drive. And then you will then just choose which emulation you would like to to be using. Of course, this is way more expensive, but look how many pedals you get into one. And if I remember correctly, this pedal does not have that uh, specific chip that I was talking to you about. And you can see here the specifics of the different overdrives that is emulating. And also the different years in which they came about. Like I was telling you, this is a strong mall that uh, Josh has made in order to create something unique. And I like uh, that aspect of this. And then uh, this one that I didn't know what it was, it, this is uh, from the Keeley Overdrive from 2002. So uh, definitely uh, I'm interested because it tightens up your tone and gives you less noise. So I'm all for it. It is uh, the K over there that you see on the pedal. So yes, this one does not have that uh, particular chip. However, um, I have seen videos where Josh says uh, sonically, really, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. And he, I'm sure, has better ears and knowledge than me. So I'll definitely, definitely trust him. And then here you have the um, uh, DS9 DX Turbo. And this one basically has an increased low end. And because it is a TS9, I don't think this one is going to be um, uh, using the iconic chip that supposedly is the one that has the magic. So anyways, those are basically the ones here at uh, Sweetwater. This is a TS9 uh, offered with uh, some patching cables. So basically, that's what we got. 
there's no Max Zone here, which was actually the originally released in 1979. Um, However, I went to Guitar Center, of course, and I searched for it, and here it is. And actually, it's going for $150 dollars or 149 to be exact and you can see the original one right there you can see it uh, again with the overdrive balance and tone and then um, let me see if it says anything about the components uh, yes this one says it uses the same jrc 400 55 8 IC based circuit as the original back in the day. So this is going for $149. Now, what happens if I move to Amazon? Amazon has this one as well, and it's going for much less than uh, a guitar center. I don't know who's putting the prices at Guitar Center, but definitely I get here free shipping. So I wouldn't even uh, worry about the buying a guitar center at this time. As a matter of fact, I'll close the window. So anyways, coming back to the Max Zone, which is really the originally and legendary. Look at this. It has the identical to the original circuit and featuring the chip we have been talking about. So that is fantastic. It only goes for $118. So that's really a good deal. So it is time for me to take the final decision. And I really like that we have this pedal sale going on at Sweetwater. If I go for one of the Ibanez pedals, either the TS9 or the 808, I will be stuck with that particular overdrive style. Whereas if I go with the Bonsai 9-way screamer, I can enhance my tone shaping capabilities and dial my tone as needed. The price difference between the Bonsai and the 808 is only $30 and it comes with way more sonic potential. Now, thinking about the mini tube screamer pedal, which is supposed to replicate the 808 standard size, it does not have the chip that we have talked about. So, if that mini pedal can replicate the 808 sound without the chip, likely the Bonsai can also replicate the 808 sound without the chip. Therefore, I'll definitely go for the Bonsai 9 way screamer and it is on sale if it wouldn't be in sale this would be probably a different story but definitely going to 200 dollars this is not a cheap pedal however it gives me nine very good flavors including including some exotic flavors that i was uh not specifically thinking about but now that i see it here um they uh, really look super convincing and interesting for me. I'm just going to go ahead. I decided uh, on this pedal, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my cart. All right, so let me check out. I'm going to log in into my Sweetwater account and guess the purchase process. Give me just a second. All right, and I have already logged in into my Sweetwater's account and I'm in the final step of ordering this pedal. So it is the JHS Bonsai 9-Way Screamer style pedal and it goes for $199 with 20 cents because of the 49 dollars with 80 cents off which is fantastic so the shipping is free that's great and then of course i cannot escape to pay taxes so that's 15 dollars with 88 cents for a total of 215 dollars with eight cents all right uh, no special comments or instructions so i'm just gonna go ahead and place my order Let's click over here and it's processing and there we go. 
All right, and I was able to place my order at Sweetwater, and I can't wait to get the bonsai nine-way screamer in the studio and test it with my different apps. All right, let me know in the comments below if you will have purchased the same bonsai pedal from JHS, or would you have chosen a completely different one? Would you have chosen the pedal with the original chip? Do you think that chip will make a significant sonic difference? Let me know in the comments below. All right, and that is all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.